So, video numero two. Why I'm not chilling with Islamic apologists. Now, disclaimer. Disclaimer time. I'm okay with Muslim people. It's the Islamic ideology that I'm not a fan of. I'm also not a fan of these people that defend Islam's ideology because I find it really odd, one, that they are doing that in the first place, and two, a lot of the time, they're defending it on the grounds of ignorance because they actually don't know anything about the religion, really. They, 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 they know pretty much nothing about it and they've never read anything from the Quran, so they don't really know what the fuck it is that they're defending. They think they're defending Muslim people, but in reality, all they're doing is defending... They're stifling a conversation around ideology, which is what we need to have, because we did it with Christianity for years upon years upon years, and we're still doing it now, really. I mean, I see I see stuff uh, taking a piss out of Christianity all the time. I mean, it goes way back to the 70s. I mean, you've got, like, Irish... Um, there was a, an Irish comedian in, in Great Britain who uh, was quite famous for taking the piss out of the Catholic, Catholic Church, um, which was obviously quite a daring thing to do as an Irish man at the time. Um, so, you know, this this is a tradition that goes way back in our country to be bashing religions for their stupid ideas, stupid practices, stupid traditions, etc, etc, and the culture surrounding all those things. And um, for some reason, we've kind of lost that when it comes to Islam, for some reason. And I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why people regard it. I mean, I think they link it to racism. So they think if, you, if you're if you fucking with Islam, then you're basically just a closet racist. But I just feel like that is such dogmatic thinking. Like, it, but essentially, you're, if you can't differ differentiate between when somebody's talking about the ideology... And when somebody's just being straight up a racist about something and they've got no coherent argument about why they hate Islam, just like, oh, I hate Islam because they're all brown, ain't they, man? Like, yeah, okay, yeah, they're fucking racist, obviously. I mean, obviously racists are drawn to this conversation because it does give them a platform to speak on it. But, like, you, you need to be able to use your brain in this arena. If you're going to be in this arena of debate, you need to be able to differentiate between the people that are attacking the ideology and the people who are just being racist. And I feel like I can tell that apart pretty easy. Um, but it seems like a lot of people out there just don't seem to be able to do that for some reason. I don't I don't know why. Maybe it's a lack of IQ. Maybe they're just too wrapped up in the whole thing. I don't know. Anyway, a few reasons why I don't like Islam before I get into the apologists. Uh, well, I've already got into them a little bit, but... You know what I'm saying. Islam is homophobic. I don't think I really need to explain that too much. If you look into the 52 countries um, that are uh, Islamic or have the state, the state is the is, is the state religion is Islam. All 52 of those countries, uh, home, uh, homosexuality is illegal. In seven of those countries, it's punishable by death. I've got some very very close gay friends. I love them a lot and for me that is fucking disgusting and because it's not does, nobody seems to acknowledge that at all for some reason i don't know why i think maybe it's because they're, they're used to western muslims who are kind of a little bit uh live let live kind of a thing and like a lot of, but what they don't understand is that western muslims are quite different to muslims on the global scale so um you know, but it's hard to make these distinctions of people because they're just too wrapped up in their own little worlds. Now, second point. The religion is fucking stupid, right? They believe, they honestly believe, and there's a, there's a debate with Richard Dawkins and this Muslim guy, I forget his name. He He's a little, got a cute little face, I forget his name. But, they believe, honestly, that Muhammad went to heaven he flew into heaven on a winged horse he like flew up into the sun or some shit on a winged horse and that shit is legit they they believe 
that legitimately happened. And this guy even says it in a debate with Richard Dawkins, and it's amazing. Richard Dawkins is just like, so, do you honestly believe that Muhammad flew into the sky on a winged horse? And the guy's like, yes! <laughs> and it's so, it's so, oh my god, it's just unbelievable. And <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's just stupid. It's a stupid religion. It's they have stupid beliefs, and it's just a stupid religion. Just as much as Christianity is stupid, believing that Christ ascended back from heaven, um, ascended to heaven when all the disciples were, and they're all going, "Oh my God, Jesus is flying into the sky!" You know, it's as stupid as Mormonism. I was a Mormon, by the way. Quick, quick background check. I was a Mormon. I grew up as a Mormon. I was born into the church. I. Stopped going when I was 16. I was in the mainstream Mormon church, not the cult Mormon church with all the wives and the yada yada yada. Uh, I wasn't in, involved in that. I was involved in the mainstream church. There is a difference. I'll probably do a video on that at some point because that, that has been a very extensive part of my life. <sighs> I forget why I brought, brought that up now. But the religion... Oh yeah, because Mormonism's kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. We've all seen the South Park episodes. We've all, we've all seen, um, you know, the Book of Mormon... Um, uh, musical, you know, there, there's loads of shit that takes a piss out of Mormonism, and that's because they should, because it's stupid. It's a stupid religion. Um, you know, don't get me wrong. I like a lot of the Mormon people that I've ever met. Um, a lot of the people I grew up with, they were good people. Missionaries out on the street, give them five minutes, they'll try and convert you. Just look past that. The good people. Religion though, stupid. Right, Islam, not good for women. Again, I don't want to go too far into this one because I think we all know this, but there is a there is a chapter, a whole chapter which is quite long actually, about called the women, and it is all about how women should be treated in society and where they stand in society, and basically it just outlines the pecking order for women, and honestly, it's not good if you if you contrast it to our values on women in the West. I think you're going to have some problems with it. And I, I urge anyone who considers themselves a devout feminist or somebody who really cares about women's rights, read that chapter of the Quran. If you read anything out of the Quran, if you don't read anything out of it, whatever, at least read that chapter because it is important to how women are treated and viewed in Islam. And a lot of uh, men and women in, in the Muslim world do adhere to these kinds of ideals. Maybe not literally down to the letter, but it does frame a lot of the culture that they decide to live by. So please read it because it's pretty important, um, I would say. Okay, Islam is not a religion of peace. Um, Christianity is not a religion of peace. Buddhism, as much as we all like to think Buddhism is so lovely and fluffy and, oh, it's just about consciousness, man. That is not a religion of peace, either. Just look at what they're doing. To, they, Buddhists have got blood on their hands, okay? Buddhists have got blood on their hands. Just look it up. They've, they've massacred people before. Buddhism is not a religion of peace, okay? No religion in the history of this fucking planet is a religion of peace, Okay? If any religion tries to claim that they're a religion of peace, fucking tell them what the reality of the situation is. Because no religion is re religion of peace. Every religion has blood on its hands, and every religion is dodgy as fuck, right? Especially religions like the Abrahamic ones, like Christianity, Judaism, and Islam, and Hinduism to some extent, uh, maybe even Sikhism. They all have some preaching philosophy of violence in certain scenarios some more extreme than others some call for it in more um extreme ways than others and you should really fucking look into that like don't ignore it i mean people like to say oh well these bad people these people would have killed people anyway you know they would have just done bad things anyway it doesn't quite work like that yeah that is true to an extent but if you've got a a, a religion which is also a vehicle for, for people to do these things because we're all animals we've all got these urges in us i've sometimes feel like punching somebody in the face when i'm on a bad day you know what i mean like I, i'm not a bad person for that because that's just a normal human being feeling i don't do it because i'm not a fucking psychopath but what i'm saying is 
if you've got a religion which also says you've got those feelings but you've also got a religion which says well in some instances it's actually righteous to go out and kill people for whatever reason well if you're on a bad day and your also religion is saying that it's okay to go and do it well guess what that might actually spurn you on to go and do it you know what i mean so like please don't let's not stop fucking with all these fucking mental gymnastics about it the religion is part of why violence is set is in these kind of um islamic cultures around the world if you look at pakistan or whatever like if you look at these places which are predominantly islamic in nature there is a lot of problems there and um it's not just you know it's not just terrorism it's just in general um okay sorry i keep looking down because i got notes i'm trying to do notes so it's a bit more coherent i hope that's okay um also, another thing, that, this is another thing that apologists like to bring up, Western intervention. Terrorism is not linked inherently to Western intervention. It has put, it has turned the gun onto us, for sure. I agree with that. However, terrorism is not inherently linked to that. It's not literally, we went to um, the Middle East and now terrorism exists. Terrorism has been around in Islam for a long, long time against other Muslims for a long, long time. They bring up this point when it's convenient, but not not when it comes to terrorism. Uh, not when it comes to the the argument about where terrorism comes from. It t terrorism existed for a long time. I, mean, I brought this up recently on my Facebook. Um, the Philippines, the Philippines have been dealing with terrorism from um, Islamic affiliated uh, terrorist groups from like the early 90s and they have never ever intervened in the middle east at any point ever they've never ever done that they have no actual beef or connection with um animosity with the middle east they are attacking um they are attacking the philippines generally speaking because they have a very minority uh, um islamic um community there um and also they have a huge Christian population there. So it's obviously an ideological kind of war there. So what I'm saying is, they would employ those methods if they felt like it, no matter what. It, you know, it doesn't matter about the intervention necessarily. Okay? So, please, just fucking understand that. Um, okay. And again, I just want to go back to the main point. Most Islamic apologists, this is why I'm not chilling with them. I'm not chilling with them. Because one... They don't know any of this shit. They don't know any of it. And two, they just come from a place of ignorance. They come from a place of ignorance and it bothers me. It just bothers me that um, that they can, they can try and postulate about it with such authority like, Well, if you're not down with Islam, then you're a racist. And it's just like, come on, man. Like, it's just... It's just becoming such farcical bullshit, and it annoys the hell out of me. Now, I'm sorry this video's been a bit longer, it's like 13 minutes or something. I've tried to keep it as concise as possible. I know it's a bit of a ramble, all my videos are going to be rants. I'm not bring I'm not doing cutscenes, I'm not doing transitions, I'm not doing anything fancy. These are my thoughts, this is why I'm not chilling. Thanks for watching. Please watch again. <laughs> Get me some views. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. I can't even press the stop button in time.